I have a new journal, guys. Alright, this little journal, I don't know what brand it is, I have no clue. Um, I got it from a friend who's doing a huge D-stash. She gave me a bunch of her stuff, so... I looked at this journal, I was like, ooh, all the pages come out. That would be so nice to have pages to work on individually. Um, so I decided to just start working on it. So that very first page was, uh, I did this page um, the first night after I was done with my exam that day. So I went home and I just journaled on that page up top. So then I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to cover it up. Because it doesn't say much other than I'm so happy I'm done, blah, blah, blah. So... I'm um, just covering it up with gesso, and I figured while I had the gesso out, I might as well gesso a whole, bun whole bunch of pages. So I didn't subject you to that, so I just showed you a couple. And as you can see, one of the most important things for me when I craft is um, ensuring that I have a glass of wine available. So um, that was available. And it's usually red for me. Sometimes in the summer I'll switch it up to white just because it's lighter. Um, and it's nice having something cool, but anyway. So this is fluid acrylic. It's white. I want to say it's Blick fluid acrylic. And um, I just wanted a more opaque white. And uh, those little chipboard pieces are by Umwow Studio. And um, the girl who owns Umwow Studio also works at Viva Las Vegas Stamp. She's also a stamp designer, and she is just amazing. Her name is Dee Dee. Um, this is also an Umwow stencil. Um, so if you hear Umwow or Umwow Studio, same thing. And it's like, it's www.umwowstudio.com. And, uh, her prices are really reasonable and her products are amazing. So, um, I just used my, that stencil, the hexagon stencil with a little bit of water and blotted it up. And that just brought through a little bit of that craft color from underneath. This is my new favorite script stamp, and I uh, just used some archival ink, and there, it looks fantastic. I love that stamp. It's just the alphabet, uh, written a couple different times, but it's great. So again, I am out of Mod Podge right now, so I am blowing through my gel medium, so I'm going to end up needing both next time I go doing some craft shopping, so... I'm using gel medium to glue down these uh, hexagon um, chipboard pieces. And uh, if you go to the Umwow Studio website, uh, she calls these uh, confetti. So it's under the chipboard, and this is uh, the hexagon confetti. I also got the chevron confetti, and um, my wife got a whole bunch. We spent a lot of money. But it's good stuff, so it's worth it. But for that whole package of uh, confetti, the uh, hexagon confetti, I want to say it was $4. And you see how much I have there. I, I end up using a very, very, very small amount. And the little container I'm keeping it in is from the dollar store. And I just keep them on my desk so they're always within reach. Gluing everything down, gluing everything down. I was trying to be fancy and use my brush to do everything, to like pick it up. And gel medium's not that sticky. So if this were Mod Podge, the brush would have picked it up like a champ. I think I think had it been Mod Podge it would have would have been a little bit better too. It would have sealed those those chipboard pieces a little bit better. I mean this worked, but Mod Podge is a little bit thicker. It has more of a film, so I'm just using random pieces and just gluing them down. Okay, so this is that same hexagon stencil, and this is the Heidi Swap Color Shine in black velvet, and I just did it in two different spots, and then I end up flipping the stencil over right in the middle. And then I blotted some of it up, uh, which did leave color and shine. It just uh, muted it a little bit. So once that was down, I took old paper distress ink reinker and uh, doused it with water. As you can tell, old paper is a very green color. It's one of the browns. It looks brown, but it's very, very green, especially in the concentrated form. So I'm using a little bit of opaque white stays on to stamp even more hexagons. And this was, it was either 
uh, brush corduroy or, or or more old paper, but that was the distress stain. I just splashed it. So that is Perlex, gold Perlex in, in water. And I just dipped my paintbrush in it and splattered it on for a little bit of shine here and there. This stamp, this film strip stamp, is um, from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. I'm not positive if Dee Dee designed this set, but I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure she did. Um, I buy all of my stamps from them on the plate, which means it's a giant sheet of rubber, and you cut your stamps out of it, and then I just use Aline's tack it over and over. And I've I've always found that at Michael's. So um, this is film. Um, it's an old canister of film someone gave me, and um, I'm just cutting it up. It had a monkey on it. I don't know what the monkey was doing, but we're, we're going to pretend like it's not a monkey, because that's just creepy. But and now it's a design element, so you have to like hold it up to the light to see it. So These are the Tim Holtz Chit Chat stickers, and I'm just trying to figure out what in the world I'm going to say. And there was no behind. I was like, what? Tim Holtz didn't have a behind. Yeah, I said it. Now what? It's a white boy. It's all good. So, um, so it says he left it all. And then, um, I'm going to handwrite behind. So I used a little bit of the gel medium to glue those down because they're meant for paper and trying to stick it on anything else that does not work very well. Okay, so this pencil I'm using is a monolith something or another. Pardon all the noise while I try to find it. Something is going to crash. Watch. Um, it's a water-soluble pencil, <clears throat> and it's great because it's leadless, so and it feels cool. It's Aqua, Aqua Monolith by Creta Color, C-R-E-T-A Color, and I got those at Blick, so... I like them. They make me feel fancy. I'm just using my Stabilo pen, which, as you should know by now, I'm obsessed with this pen because it's very forgiving and water-based, and I can erase it, which I ended up doing to the D, because I didn't like the D. So I'm just weighting some of my letters a little bit. This is um, something, FW Pearlescent, the uh, black, and just wanted a few splatters here and there. So this was a picture I printed in black and white and then took old paper, distress stain, and then just went over the whole picture, and then just around the edges used walnut stain, distress ink. So came out really cool, looked all sepia, vintage. Going back over the edges, now that everything's completely dry, I, I didn't let it the um, gel medium dry the first time enough, so I was kind of pulling it up, but it was still kind of gummy. So this was like a day later or so, so I added a little bit more of that gray, and using my water brush again just to smooth out the color and pull it out here and there. And that is the completed page. In case you're wondering where I was on the photo, in the photo, I was in Huntington Beach, so Huntington, however you say. It. So here's the here it is before I added the picture, and after I added the picture. So uh, there's blue on it from the other page. Don't judge me. All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.